They were only informed last night. Why only yesterday? Why only on the last hour? Because during trial preparation, this, the state ought to have been informed of this objection. This is an embarrassment to the South African law proceedings that at this stage during trial, we are still dealing with this kind of an application. Secondly, my lord, after the state had known or had been informed of this application, we were never informed as the affected parties. And we are now being ambushed by the state to read and prepare our responses wherein we are negatively affected by the application. That is unfair, my lord. Coming to the reasons stated by this uh, special witness, says is bringing this application for her personal safety. Our lives, my lord, court officials, accused persons, our, yes. all our safety has been compromised by the broadcasting, my lord. But we have allowed it to proceed because we were respecting the court order, my lord. And we also understood that the freedom of expression also allows the media to broadcast the proceedings. The second point, my lord, that has been raised by the state is the concern about the public comments and public opinion after her testimony, comparing her testimony with other witnesses and so forth and so forth as it has been stated by the state, my lord. That has got no adverse <laughs> effect to this court. This court is not bound, my lord by the public opinions, by public comments, by public critics, my lord, of any sort. This court, when deciding, deciding on this matter, will be bound by the evidence presented before this honorable court. In other words, my lord, it will have no adverse influence to this court if her evidence is broadcasted as we have been doing. The issue of safety, I myself, as the defense counsel for accused number five, had been posted on Instagram and all social medias by the same witness, my lord. <coughs> and I will ask this court to adjourn right now so that I print all the statements that this witness has made about myself, my lord. If we were to consider the personal safety of this witness in isolation. What about the personal safety of other people, including myself? The pressure as well, my lord, that has been uh, stated as another reason that uh, uh, broadcasting will put pressure on her. What kind of pressure, my lord? It has not been placed before this court. How? The ex nature of extent of the pressure. In what way, in what sense will pressure? Because, my lord, this is a, a, a person of a public figure. This is a person who is known by everyone. This is a person, my lord, who has been posting herself on her pages of social media about this case. This is not a person who is foreign to media language. Is a fan. Instead, my lord, the issue of Netflix documentary, I know the court is not aware of that document, my lord. But, my lord, this is a document wherein this particular witness had participated to it, my lord. San Monan, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, it seems like Zandile Kumalo is trying to come up with excuses not to testify in court, surprisingly. I mean, this girl is the same girl who said she cannot wait for her day in court. Now, let's take it back a bit. Last year, Zandile Kumalo raised eyebrows when, you know, she took it to her Instagram account to gush over advocate Zandile Mshololo and everybody was like, hmm, okay, does this mean that Mshololo is, you know, brown envelope? What does this mean? It really got a lot of people worried. Now, in a post that left a lot of people talking, Uzandila shared a picture of Mshololo dressed in a traditional attire. She basically complimented her look, saying she looked beautiful, like she was singing her song, Ikwela. She said, and I quote, Zulu, oh Lord, my bizo is so beautiful. And then she decided to switch off her comment section, you know, but her post did raise questions on you know whether she was throwing shade or has Msholo been given a brown envelope 
Now, obviously, it's always expected that okay, Lukumalo and her sisters and Lukumalo are expected to always train, you know, to train week in, week out every time the trial is airing. Now, this is what Ozandele Kumalo also wrote. She posted O Maselela Day for and said, and I quote, It looks like one is never going to get their day in court, like, because uh, people entrusted with this case have turned into a circus. So I might as well say this here and now. It really pains me that this case doesn't look like it will be solved anytime soon because South Africa believe opportunist and populist like this one. It pains me because it means that the Mayua family will never get justice. And it pains me because it means my family will forever live under this dark cloud. This one claimed he had an eyewitness. Oh, people. He claimed he had proof that Kelly pulled the trigger and how he withdraws. He has had his two minutes of fame. So, will we believe and back anyone who says what we want to hear will stand in the way of justice? This channel view approach that the society is applying to this case is what is obstructing justice from being served by Kubek and Asbizwangane quotes Asbizwangane. Now, finally, the court decided or the court says come testify we are giving you an opportunity to say your truth we are giving you an opportunity to testify we are giving you an opportunity to finally voice out you've been saying you are waiting for your day in court it has arrived it's here testify but what does she do she comes up with excuses no recordings no cameras nothing I'm not saying the media should go out, but they shouldn't record. I mean, what's the point of the media um, being there if they can't record? That would just be a case of she said, he said, no, that's a lie. I mean, Chrysilda uh, uh, could be updating us in and saying, well, this A, B, and C happened, and Zandi say, said A, B, and C, and Zandi could just come out and say, no, I didn't. This is what I said. So why is she objecting that, just like every other witness, she should also be on record? She's talking about being a public figure. Other people are like, hey, Zandi, performing in people's weddings, it doesn't mean you're a public figure. <laughs> those are two, uh, those were sweet, sweeter people. Is it? it wasn't me, I promise. Performing in people's wedding doesn't make you a public figure. Others are saying, if you're a public figure, that means we already know who you are. Why are you hiding now? This is ridiculous. You know? So, yeah, man, guys, I don't know. Honestly speaking, oof, this, <laughs> this, uh, since 2014, now in 2023, almost 10 years later, crazy 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 do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below i'm sure she is a bit disappointed in um zandile msholo ubizowake i'm sure because her posting her you know she i think she sort of like was hoping for she was sort of like hoping for her to be lenient when it comes to her testifying but obviously Mshololo didn't buy that whole thing. Instead, she used it against her in court. And said, you're putting my life in danger by posting me. And now you are here telling me that you are worried about your safety. What about my safety? What about all of our safety? I just love Mshololo for this. Honestly, I when Zanila posted her, I was like, hmm, girl, yeah gone girl but now after hearing her you know objecting or after hearing her argument in court i am convinced that she will try her best to um get the truth out of these people do let me know guys what you think at the comments section down below now of course this really did anger um a lot of people that you know she doesn't want to be on record one said i have never seen zandi perform never not once what public figure is she talking about another one said so about zandi kumaro performs at weddings then call themselves public figures 
Hashtag single may you a trial. Hashtag Zandi shame. You always had challenges when it came to deal with media. You are forever confused. Now, this one brought up a tweet where Zandi was basically asking her sister, Kilekumaro, was, hey, um, sis, I've just joined Twitter. How do I load my pig? That tweet um, dates back twenty thirteen so yeah but but guys Katla Kose is advocate Rama Sope like technically saying Zandi Kumalo must full tag. I think this guy um go through our tweets <laughs> as Sol say oh what didn't the witness claim to want to clear their names so why are they trying to hide when it's time to testify? If you tell the truth why would that be danger to your safety? Exactly Zandi Lokumalo doesn't want to go live or anything reported or broadcasted by the media during her testimony. Ooh, yeah, ne? A lot of people are quite angry at the judge. Um, honestly speaking, I do see why. Because he does seem to be biased. He, if it was up to him, he would have just said, Oh, Zandile Kumalo doesn't want any media to be present. Or she doesn't, okay, not any media to be present. She doesn't want to be recorded or, or, or you, you know, um whatever that's fine that's okay you know let's just go on with the trial and and respect her wishes as the witness if it was up to the judge that would have been um zandile's wish would have been granted the trial is not over but i doubt today there will be any cross-examination because already yeah a lot of time has been wasted it's been over like two hours them discussing this and Today, I don't see any way forward. Um, maybe tomorrow, cross-examination will take place. Do let me know, guys, what you think in the comment section down below.